Hello and welcome everybody to another Oxygen X screencast. This time I'm going to explain to you how to deal with the timer. This powerful tool offers the possibility to create playout events for precise time frames. When you first click the timer button, you come to an overview of the calendar. To create a timer event, you have to click on a certain day and time, and then choose from the footage you already have on your player. So you see on the left side I have the categories, I click into it and then I can see all the videos or pictures I have in it. I've chosen a video now, it's a cinematic trailer, and now I can create the event. The easiest sort of timer events are the one-time events, where you just have to choose a date and uh, time, and then you're done. You can also, for example, deactivate audio or channel ID for that certain play out of the content. Now that you have successfully created your first timer event, you can take a look at it in the calendar overview. Here it is. If I want to edit it or delete it, I have to click on it. Now I have an overview of the day, so I have to scroll down to 9 o'clock, click it again, and now I can edit it. To delete the event, I just have to click on the recycle bin on the right side. Here it is. But for now, I just want to edit it. And so, save my changes. Now back to the overview. Here it is. Now let me give you one more hint while creating timer events. If you activate the option of exact start, the player will abort the clip he is actually playing to start playing the event. And believe me, you don't want a music video being interrupted, for example, by a commercial. You really don't want that, for sure. Now that I have deleted the just created timer event, it's time to create a new one. This time uh, it will be a periodic one. On the left side of the interface you can see that you have several options to choose from. Monthly, weekly, daily, hourly and custom event. I will now just click through the options so you can see what's inside of it. The custom event looks a bit distracting in the beginning, but I will explain that later on. Lots of options. And we will now start with a weekly periodic event. So first we have to set the time span where the event should take place in. I'll just choose a couple of days for this event. And then I can define on which days of the week this event should take place. So I take Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday and Sunday. I leave Wednesday and Saturday out. And then finally I can set the time of the day where this event should take place. Foreign users should be aware that we use the European time scheme in the scheme in this interface. So you don't have PM or AM. 18 o'clock is like 6 p.m. So please always remind that when setting up the times. So now in this overview we see the events I just created. We see that it's on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday and Sunday. And if I click into a day I can see on which time this event will take place. 
Now it's important that you realize that this is a periodic event, so if you delete one of the events, every event will be deleted. That's because they are somewhat like connected. So it's just like one event with lots of playouts. Now it's time to create a custom event. So first I have to choose the content. Then I click on custom and set the time span for this event. I again just take a couple of days. Now first I have to define the moment of a minute where this event will take place. So if I say 30 seconds, the event will start always on the 30th second of a minute. Then I set up the minutes of an hour where it will take place. I take an interval of 5 minutes. So every 5 minutes this event will be played out. Now define the hours of a day where it will take place. I take it from 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. And now choose the days of a week where it will take place. I take the working days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And the last step then is to define the months of a year. I only activate uh, September because my event will only take place in September so there's no need to activate more months. And now we will have a look at what I just created. So you can see we have events on several days and it's lots of events, 156 events per day. So it starts with 6 o'clock 5 minutes and 30 seconds 6 o'clock 10 minutes and 30 seconds, 6 o'clock 15 minutes and 30 seconds, and so on. And again, these events are all connected, so if you delete one of it, you will delete them all. So, finally I'm done with presenting you some magic of the timer function. You really should give it a try and, or, or play with it. If you have any feedback or questions, join us on forum.oxygennext.com. See you soon.